Hey guys, welcome back to the MCUHQ. Third episode of WandaVision has dropped. I watched it. These are my non-spoiler thoughts on the episode. And before I get into them, I do want to preface this video by saying that, at least in my opinion, this is a very difficult episode to talk about spoiler-free. But don't worry, I don't have any spoilers in here. I contemplated making just a spoiler video and that's it, but nope, this is going to be non-spoiler and then tomorrow you will see the spoiler, just like I talked about last week. So now, let's get into my review. If you watched any reviews of the show before it released for general audiences, you would know that certain critics and members of press got the first three episodes to watch, and a lot of them said that the third episode is where things start to pick up, and some even said that the third episode should have come out day one. And I agree with that statement. This, to me, is the best of the three episodes yet. This is where the story is really starting to pick up. They should have released this last week. Or, like I've said, cut the first episode and just make this episode two and release both of those last week. After watching this episode, you're going to want to go straight into episode four. Like, this is the first episode that has really has something resembling a cliffhanger. It's it's a massive hook. This It, it ends on, like, yeah, you're going to want to go straight into episode four, but you can't because they're releasing them weekly. And it's funny that this episode is, like, the best one when it has the simplest plot. I mean, yeah, the first two didn't exactly have complex plots, you know, the first one was them having to prepare for a dinner party, and the second one was a talent show. I'd argue this one's even more simple. Wanda is pregnant, has a child on the way, and her and Vision need to prepare. That's the whole episode. They're like building cribs, painting, Vision's reading a book. That's really the main plot of the episode. And... I had goosebumps for a lot of it. In fact, like the last half, when things really start to pick up, which, God, it's so hard not to say spoilers, but in the back half, things start to pick up, and I, I, I had goosebumps for like the last 11, 12 minutes of, of this episode. But what is it about this episode that makes it so special, that makes this one so important? Well... So this is where the plot really starts picking up. By the end of this episode, I mean, like, you have a cliffhanger at the end, right? You can see where certain characters' storylines might be going. It's the episode where Wanda and Vision in particular really start to notice certain things and realize something is off. They're starting to pick up on things. And this is the end of Act 1 because I believe the show's kind of split into three acts, you know, three episodes in Act. And so this, this is the end of Act 1 and then we're going into Act 2 next week. And this really feels like it. It feels like all the, the initial setup is all done. So now, now the, the, the real story starts to pick up and we're getting into the rest of that. And so now, let's, now that that's done, let's talk about as much of the episode as I can without giving any spoilers. So this episode really has three characters. Of course, we get cameos. Agnes is there. Some other neighbors are there. Some returning characters are there. But for the most part, this episode centers around three characters. That's Wanda, Vision, and Monica, or Geraldine. Man, this whole cast has great chemistry. And I... Didn't say this in my video about episode two, so I'll say it here, but Tiana Paris and Elizabeth Olsen, who are, you know, Wanda and Monica, have fantastic chemistry in this. I mean, like, everything they do, it feels natural. It feels like they're friends. And then, of course, Paul Bettany and Elizabeth Olsen also have great chemistry, once again, stealing the show. I think Vision is my favorite part of this show. I, I love this different take on Vision. And that's it. That's this episode. Yeah, there's more to it. But I'm not going to say any of that at risk of spoilers because if I touch on anything, on 
anything else, we could be going into deep story territory because it's like the first, I'll say 60% of this episode is more of that fun stuff you've come to expect from the first two episodes. And then when you have like 12-ish minutes left in the episode, wow. So guys, those were my non-spoiler thoughts on WandaVision episode three. Very, really not much for you to get out of that, but there's not much to talk about. So I need to watch the episode again, get all the notes for my spoiler video, and tomorrow you can expect that where I will be doing a full detailed breakdown of the episode, going through everything there is, giving some theories, just like I did with last week's episodes. So guys, leave your thoughts on this episode down in the comments below, non-spoiler. Also leave a like on this video, subscribe, click on the bell icon to receive all notifications from the M2HQ. That's gonna be it. Have a great day, guys.